good, bad, or ugly, it, it's mine and I have to own it. Hey everybody, this is Mary and welcome back to the kitchen. Today, we are going to make just a simple diced tomato and can. Okay, these are garden fresh tomatoes, guys. These are some of my Romas. Aren't these tiny little babies? All the, to uh, the Romas in one area only got this size. But my Romas I planted in another area, which are not ripe yet, are about twice that size. I don't know. And this is one of the heirloom tomatoes that my mama saved seeds for for years. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these and then I'll come back over here and we I'll show what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to core them and score them. Okay, folks, I have our water already preheated. As you can see, it's boiling. I've got my ice bath here for the tomatoes. Okay. I'm just going to take a tomato and I'm, I'm not going to just drop it down in there because it would splash and go everywhere. So we're just going to throw those down in there. And guys, it looks like I misjudged a little bit. I need a little bit more water. Okay, I'll just roll them around. Okay, but the thing is, to have them in here, we're not attempting to cook them at this point. That will be in the next steps that we do. But our main thing right now is to uh, let the uh, skins come off. I washed them and I cored them. And by that, just for the ones who may not know, I have a one of the big heirloom tomatoes that come from my mom's. I'm cutting this part right here out. Anything that looks bad, guys, I take it out. My chickens or my pigs love canning season because they get multiple treats. Okay, so I cut the core out and I just score it along the bottom. I just barely cut into that skin. Okay, that's... Uh, Scoring and coring. Okay. But we're just going to let these stay in here long enough that we can start peeling. Let's try a smaller one. So we can start peeling that skin off, usually about a minute or so. Okay. Guys, you know this is a, a little warm. Okay. It's starting to peel pretty good on that little one this one you can definitely see so like I say we're not cooking it right now so let's take these smaller ones out and plunge them into the ice bath to stop the cooling because they will be further processed uh, once we get them cut up and in the jars so, let's see what this one looks like not burn myself yeah, that's coming off pretty good. Okay, folks. Now we're going to flip these over for another minute or two. Just because all of it has not been underwater. I kind of misjudged that. But I'll put more water in it before I put the next batch in there. Just keep moving them around. They'll be fine. Guys, like I've said a million times on my channel, this is real life. I don't have somebody behind me doing all the prep work or anything else. So, good, bad, or ugly, it, it's mine and I have to own it. Okay, put that on there to keep the heat in there. Okay. Now, guys, I can handle this. So, we just pull the, uh, the peels off like that right there. And I'm going to put that back over into this colander for all intents and purposes. I will have another one to put it in. But that is this step in the uh, tomatoes that we're making today. All right, I've got the uh, last of our tomatoes sitting there ready to come out of the uh, hot water. I'm trying to get these tomatoes peeled that are in the, uh, the ice bath. It was an ice bath when I started, guys. 
And then I have those sitting there already peeled, drained. So, folks, anytime you do anything like this, it's a process. You can't get it, you cannot get canning done quickly, especially if you are taking the time to peel tomatoes. A lot of times when I make tomato dishes, in all honesty, I don't peel them. But I just decided I was going to do that today. Now sometimes you'll get something that's a little tough or it'll have something just a little ugly that you miss on there. Guys, just cut it off. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Just, you know, cut it off, throw it away. And if it's really bad, because sometimes once you start tearing stuff off, you will find something. You think you had a beautiful tomato, and folks, it's ugly. It's nasty. It's got bad spots in it. So those are just trash. But I'm going to go ahead and get all the rest of these peeled, and then we're going to start cutting them up. Okay, I have all the tomatoes prepped. Uh, so we're just going to put them in our little handy-dandy chopper here, guys. And chop. Guys, I want to warn you, this makes a horrible mess. And I probably should have put a towel or a cookie sheet or something because it's getting everywhere. But I've got to get these tomatoes cut up and get them in the, uh, the jars. That way we can have just some simple diced tomatoes on the pantry shelf. And we don't have to go out and pay over a dollar a can for something that we can grow in our own backyard and spend just a little bit of time on and use them for a long time. I think I'm going to spend more time cleaning than what I am anything else on this. But guys, like I said a million times on this channel, this is real life. And you see the mess. There ain't nothing pretty here. I'm just going to keep going until I get all these diced up. Well, I'm making pretty good progress in getting all these tomatoes uh, diced up. I've got a half gallon jar that's full. I'm down to my last tomato. Now, folks, I did warn you that this was messy. It made a mess, and I did go ahead and get a cookie sheet so I didn't have to keep wiping the uh, counter up. Okay. So there we go. There, in all honesty, there's probably an eighth of a cup right here in this cookie sheet. What do you think? Okay, let me get this wiped down. Okay, I have a good amount of tomatoes right here that I've diced up and I have drained them. So we're getting ready to process them. I put my salt in there. I'm using sea salt. You can use sea salt. You can use uh, canning salt. You can use pink Himalayan sea salt. But I will put the uh, full instructions in the description box. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure out exactly what I'm using. In my big spoon. Okay, guys. Even though I've drained this, there's still more juice coming out of this. So I'm going to try to get mainly just as many tomatoes as what I can without adding a lot of juice. Guys, there's just something about a good fresh tomato. I love these fresh heirloom tomatoes that come from my garden. Okay. You can see they're just diced tomatoes. And I'll wipe them off. I've got my clean or my new lid. Put the uh, ring on their finger tight. Okay. Now, folks, I didn't have to preheat these jars. 
because this is room temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my canner. Go ahead and get this one done. I'll probably have, I don't know, three pints or so. What do you think, guys? Maybe not. Use them in so many ways. They're so healthy for you. Okay, again, wipe it off, and I'm going to throw it in my canner, guys. And I am going to be pressure canning these instead of water bath canning them this time. So we'll put them in there for 30 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. All right. Diced up Roma tomatoes, folks. That's better than going to the store and buying them whenever you have a whole garden full of them hanging on the vine. But thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, share it on your social media, and I'll see you on that next video.